My name is Chang. And my name is Jaiya. And we're from the Palm Building Bridges program. And today we're going to make chocolate surprise cupcakes. <laughs> For the ingredients, you'll need one can of pumpkin, one box of chocolate mix cake, three eggs, three fourth cups of apple juice, one half cup of chopped walnuts, and what should we do with the oven? <laughs> We're going to preheat it to 350. First, we're going to add eggs in there. We'll need about three eggs. And on a separate, it's always better to crack eggs on a separate bowl to make sure there's no eggshell. And you'll add it and beat it. Next, we'll need to add some apple juice in, which is 3 4 cups. Next, we'll need some pumpkin, a pumpkin can. It's always best to clean the top before you open it with a can opener. And then you'll need mix and open it. And then you mix it together. And then after that, I'll chop the walnuts to little pieces and there will be decoration for the cupcakes on top. Oh, if I get the pumpkin, add all of it. Okay. The walnuts could be decoration on top, or you could also add it to the cupcakes. It's better either way. Um, make sure to get them really small, but not too small. So, after I'm done with this, set them aside. And then, we'll put cake paper on the pan. And if you don't have them, you always need to put any kind of grease on it to make sure they come off easily. On the bottom and sides. Yes. So we're going to put them in. Um, why can't we put um, the whole thing whole. Well, you only need to put up, fill it up to about two-thirds of the way to make sure when they're baked in the oven they won't over cook, overflow, because when they're in the oven they would grow. Yeah. So,
No, you have to fill it three-fourths, two-thirds of the way. <laughs> After you've done everything, you could put them in the oven and leave them in for about 20 minutes and then check with it. And to know if they're ready or not, you use, you only, you'll mm. use a toothpick and dip them in and see if there's any cake stick to the pick, then it, it means it's not ready yet. So you'll have to leave it in for a couple minutes and then check it, check with it again. Um, we're going to go bake them and come back to you later. Welcome to Cook It Safe Challenge. In this round, teams must read and follow package cooking instructions and know your microwave wattage. 1100 watt. You can find the wattage in the owner's manual, on the appliance label, or by contacting the manufacturer. Each team has been given a frozen entree to safely prepare. Oh, wait, what is the watch with the microwave? Whatever. Oh, sorry, team two. You get a red card for not checking the cooking instructions and not knowing the wattage. Wattage? It won't just cook? Microwaves have different wattages. I told you we should have checked the package instructions and checked the wattage of the microwave. It's not cooked safely. I wouldn't eat this. It's cold. If you don't follow the cooking instructions, some foods may be hot but may not have reached a safe internal temperature. Use a food thermometer to be sure. You win. We just kept focus on reading and following the package cooking instructions. We knew the wattage of our microwave so the food cooked safely. And the challenge continues. Can you cook it safe? So, what's the surprise in our chocolate surprise and cupcakes? It's pumpkin. How is it good for you? It's much healthier than regular cupcakes. So enjoy your healthy cupcakes. This program was recorded and presented by Chippewa Valley Community Television. Chippewa Valley Community Television is made possible by continuing community support. If you would like to volunteer or make a donation, you can contact us by calling 715-839-5067 or on the web at www.cbctv.org.